Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin. In today's video, I'm gonna be following up on my second month of production and how much we actually saved on our electrical bill. In my last video right here, I talked about how we calculate how much we actually save. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how much we saved this month. We're gonna talk about the net metering bank and we're gonna do the month over month total savings. So if you haven't checked out my previous videos, on solar, I have 25 videos that's running. And if you're looking to build out your own system, they may be very helpful for you. So check those out. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over on the computer and start talking about the total amount that we saved for this month's bill dating August the 25th to September the 25th of 2022. Here we're logged into the Enphased Enlightened Manager. And how you get this is you have to have an in-phase envoy that communicates with your in-phase microinverters. And then you get to use the software in-phase enlightened manager for free. So this is how we're able to track the amount of production that we're having out of our solar system, how much consumption that we're using. Everything runs through this software. So let's go ahead and dive in and find out exactly how much I saved on this month's utility bill. Look at the information that we have here. I consumed 1.2 megawatt hours for this billing period, and we actually produced 1.5 megawatt hours. So that means we actually produced more than we consumed. So we're going to have some additional power that should be in our net metering bank and I'm gonna talk about exactly how much that is valued at uh, because there takes a little bit of math to figure that out. So if we look over on this side, it's telling us that this 1.5 megawatt hours equates to $138.20. That is totally incorrect because all that takes into consideration is how much that we're being charged per kilowatt hour. We have other charges that are calculated as we use kilowatt hours that really adds up a lot. And I'm gonna go over that in just a second, but it's important to understand, we're gonna use this number right here, 1.2 megawatt hour that we consumed to figure out how much our bill would have been if we didn't have solar. So let's look at our current bill. That's $15.51. That's the lowest our bill will ever be because if you watched my first month's video, I explained that we will always have this member cost of service of $13.99. And then we will always be charged this environmental charge on top of that by a percentage. This month is strange because they're only charging us at 7.74% of that. That's usually 9.66. And I'll show you that in just a second. We have to go with 9.66 because I think we get penalized for the more power that we use, the higher this rate goes. It's strange how that works and we'll always have a school tax. So right here we have a $15.51 utility bill for the month of September because we're being charged between August the 25th to September the 25th. Now this is the bank that I was talking about, the net metering bank. We actually overproduced by 351 kilowatt hours. So we're gonna talk about how much that actually values that in just a second. But I want to run over to the previous bill to show you that that environmental charge was 9.66%. So the more you use, the higher it goes. I'm actually, because we didn't use much here on our first solar bill. So I'm going to use this as a baseline, 9.66 to calculate what we actually would have been charged. And like I said before, everything's going to be off this 1.2 megawatts. So let me pull up a Word document and you can see the total that I come up with is $156.50 what our bill would have been if we didn't have solar. And being that our bill is $15.51, our total savings for this month is $140.99. But there's actually more savings and I'll show you that in just a second. But I want to run down how we come up with this number because we did the member fee, $13.99. And then the 1200 that we would have used at that 9.184 cents, we gave us $110.21. Then 
Then we, this is the FAC charge. That would have been $18.50. The environmental charge at that 9.66% would have been $13.79. And how you come up with that is you add these three together, gives you this total here. And then we've got this. So our total bill would have been $156.50. Because we only are paying $15.51, our total savings is $140.99 plus what's in the net metering bank. So now we want to figure out how much is this 351 kilowatt hours sitting in our bank actually worth. And to do that, I got another document here for you. So 351 times the kilowatt hour charge would have gave us $32.24 plus the FAC charge. Would have gave us five dollars and forty-one cents. You add those two together, you get thirty-seven sixty-five times the nine point six six percent, another three dollars and sixty-four cents. So the total value of our overproduction this month is valued at forty-one dollars and twenty-nine cents. So you decide and leave me a comment below. Did I only save one hundred and forty dollars and ninety-nine cents, or should we add in? the $41.29 because we're gonna be drawing from that net metering bank sometime in the winter time when it gets really cold, we're not gonna be able to overproduce and we're gonna be drawing from that. So I think it's fair to add that in as what our total savings were for this month because we won't be calculating that when we're underproducing a little bit later on in the year or the first of next year. When we get into that January and February months, we're definitely not gonna be overproduced. So did we actually only save $140.99 or do we add that $41.29, giving us a total of $182 for the month of October? You guys leave me a comment below. Let me know if you will go ahead and add that in or try to recalculate that later on in the year. I think that would be almost impossible, but I wanna hear what you guys have to say. And the last number that we need to consider is what is our total running investment payback currently? You get $330.42 over a two month period. That's a pretty good savings. So hopefully you guys found value in this video today and you're learning a little bit about how much solar can actually save you. If you do like this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, following along with this journey of just trying to build out a sustainable property. And I got a lot more projects coming. Right now I'm focused on solar, but I am gonna be starting to talk about how to make your property more sustainable. So if you like that type of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, follow along with me, and I'll catch you in the next project.